You may be surprised to hear that the universe is filled with a web-like structure. Structures can be found all over the place in space, and in today's episode of Cabin Fever Astronomy with the Elven Planetarium, we're going to talk about a nearby part of this cosmic web, the Virgo Cluster. You're probably already familiar with some relatively smaller structures in space. Our solar system is a planetary system made up of a central star and multiple planets. Other stars can have their own planetary systems, and multiple stars together can form star systems. Star clusters, like Messier 37 here, are collections of hundreds to millions of such systems gravitationally bound together. Huge collections of billions or trillions of stars can form galaxies like this one, Pinwheel Galaxy. As it turns out, galaxies can form their own structures. Much like we have a local bunch of objects we call our solar system, our galaxy belongs to a small collection of galaxies we call the local group. Larger collections of galaxies can form galaxy clusters, such as the Virgo Cluster. The Virgo Cluster can be found in the constellation of Virgo the Maiden. You can find Virgo tonight by first looking for the Big Dipper. Once you find it, follow its handle and arc to Arcturus in Bootes. Continue in the same curve and spike to Spica in Virgo. Look to the right from the halfway point between Arcturus and Spica, and you'll find another somewhat bright star known as Vindemiatrix. Continue in that direction and you'll find Denebola in Leo the Lion. About halfway between Vindemiatrix and Denebola, you'll find the Virgo Cluster. You might already know one galaxy in this cluster, Messier 87. A famous image was released last year of the supermassive black hole at the center of this galaxy, the first ever image of its kind. Messier 87 is located at the center of the Virgo cluster, and its prime location has allowed it to collide with, and merge with, many galaxies. Today it's one of the most massive galaxies out there, and home to several trillions of stars. The Virgo Cluster and Local Group are just two of many groups of galaxies in the Virgo Supercluster, a giant collection of galaxy groups and clusters over 100 million light years wide that is itself part of the even larger Laniakea Supercluster, which contains over 100,000 galaxies and is about half a billion light years wide. Unfortunately, you'll need a telescope to see the galaxies of the Virgo Cluster. Thankfully, telescopes like the Hubble and others have produced great images of many galaxies in it, like the ones you see here. Galaxy clusters are pretty cool, so we hope you'll get to see these galaxies sometime, maybe even at one of our observatory open houses. In any case, thanks for being with us today, and we hope to see you back again for our next episode of Cabin Fever Astronomy.